Well, greetings, hello, and welcome. Episode number 19 coming at you. I'm Imperial Jedi. And today on the docket, we are going to be doing nothing but passenger trains. We'll focus on internal lines, external lines, how they kind of like work with the region, how we get people moving around with the city itself, as well as kind of linking with the other forms of transit. Oh, hello, train. And uh, we'll come back in a few more episodes and revisit everything with a cargo perspective. But just today, we'll start with, um, with some uh, passenger trains. And uh, we're actually going to rebuild this intersection, too. So in addition to some lines, we're going to have some uh, train talk. And we'll kind of go over like why this is um, a little bit of a hot mess and why it doesn't work too well. Spoiler, um, it's these parts here. Yeah, I'll go over that in a little bit. Um, let's start off with the, uh, the building. We had talked once upon a time about buying this tile here and maybe expanding that into a train and connecting it to the corridor. Let's start there. And then what I want to do is just maybe have a little bit of a loop that goes through part of the city. And we've got a little bit more room on this side of the highway, so we can probably sneak a, high, a highway, sneak a train right through here, maybe do a tunnel or bridge, and then come on over. So we're going to do a loop, and uh, we'll try and get some of the other trains that working along with it. So I think this will be a really fun start. And uh, you know when we come back and do the downtown city building, if you guys are into this, I might maybe try and work in that six lane wide uh, train station down here, and have that have like mega connections throughout. So we might maybe kind of be planning for that already. I don't know. We'll see how you guys um, see so you guys think about that. Oh yeah, tile. So we'll buy this. Great purchase, and we can get some more farms and stuff too. Make a small little uh, farming community alongside. And I'm just gonna run the uh, the clock here. I'm not really too worried about um, messing up some of the train lines because we don't really care about the traffic right now. So let's just do a little bit of terraforming. So we've got a nice little platform here for our um, train platform. We'll kind of play it on itself there. And we'll use this as kind of like the connection point for the region. So all the train stations have the ability to be either turned on or off, which is kind of a just simple thing. And then you can also turn them on or off for inner city trains. And that basically is saying no or yes to the region. So those orange trains that come in, we're going to say yes over here. And the thought process is we've got a express bus line that can bring you a little bit deeper into the city. You can transfer over on a line there. Or if you want to go all the way down to say like the stadium, university, uh, take the metro. Right, so great opportunity to switch. And then of course, if you live right here, just, you know, visiting a friend or something, grab a tram. Done and done. So let's connect all this up and we'll kind of talk about the, uh, the hows and the whys as we go. And I'm not really sure how long this episode's gonna be, but like, I wanna kinda accomplish the things we set out. So it might be like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, longer, shorter, who knows, but. Hi, I'm Greg, owner and founder. Oh, we are not winning the war today with this. Here we go. Okay, so I was thinking we could do a little bit of fun terraforming with this. The road's a little bit odd here. And we can maybe have a slight trench. Just so it'll be easier to maybe get a bridge or something over. And I really, I, I don't know, I'm going to get like probably some uh, some flack in the comments about this, but I really love doing level rail crossings. I think sometimes it's preposterous from like a traffic perspective, but I just love them. So maybe, maybe, maybe over here, maybe, I'm not saying yes, but maybe what we could do is have a bridge come through and it could be a level crossing with this part. And that can maybe be a small little side road, county road that brings you into the our little small town that's going to be probably down here. And then just for the sake of having the extra traffic and the um, keeping the passenger trains moving, uh, these guys will be immune to that because they can be below the bridge. So I don't know, maybe that could be fun. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And then that will like gradually go back uphill, right? And we can probably do a better job. So we'll push that a little bit further out. I'm actually going to use the slope tool for its intended feature finally. So I'll right click up here, left click down here, and just drag between the two. And that creates that nice trench. Um, presumably, we would change the angle of this. So I think if this were to maybe become. I don't know, is that going to be the crossing? Should we go further then? Yeah, we probably should go further just in case. Just in case. Save ourselves some headache later. And we've got just enough room because of the uh, edge of the tile here. So you know what we could do is maybe start going on the angle that way so we can curve. And that'll lead us into a nice little segue into uh, rebuilding that rail interchange. Now, I personally love trains so much. Like, just any game that has trains, I'm crazy for. Um, Transport Fever 
They're on the second version right now, Transport Fever 2, fantastic game. I played a little bit the first one, a little bit on YouTube, and I've been dying to do a small little uh, series for um, for that. So you might see that soon, but a lot of my train inspiration comes from, uh, from that game. All right, holy hot dog, what is this hot mess here? So the reason why this does not work, um, you guys know that the traffic is a little bit bizarre. Train traffic still follows that same kind of rule. So you might, might have some um, trains trying to go through this junction, but they'll be like yielding or like waiting for someone else to go through it. But the real problem is because these little spots here are not long enough to have an entire train queue, you can end up um, totally blocking this triangle. So you might have a train that's coming in, waiting for a train that's trying to exit. You might have a train wanting to go that way who's blocked by, um, you know, by the person wanting to go through, right? So you can have this big web of traffic that kind of just gets stuck. And in a weird nutshell, this bridge is kind of like doing nothing, right? Like theoretically, because there's no way over, you know, from this side, you know, if I get rid of that bridge and maybe put, oh my goodness, these commercials. There we go. But yeah, if I get rid of the bridge and then put that in, like it's this exact same thing. It looks already, I think, a little bit better anyway. And like from an infrastructure perspective, right? It's cheaper to do this, more realistic as well. That might not be long enough for a train. But that, I mean, basically, is what was uh, wrong with that, right? So let's rebuild this so it looks like an awesome, awesome thing. And we'll have some slip lanes and, and that kind of stuff for high speed here. We'll do what the bridge was basically trying to do. But I do want this to be a level crossing. I'm actually a big fan of um, making those as well for the... Uh, not just for the roads, but for the trains. Okay, so let's link this up. Nice and smooth with our, um, I want to call them interchanges, but where these things kind of like meet, you know? That's not the word, but you know what I mean, where the slopes and everything, where the angles are, I want that to be nice and smooth. And then with the trains, the smoother the angle is going through your turns and that kind of stuff, the faster the trains will take them, just like the highways. That's cool. So this already looks so much better, holy smokes. And let's have some fun. So we'll run another line right next to it. We'll over-exaggerate the length that we need for it so we don't have to worry at all about the trains queuing. And then same idea, the length in here just has to be long enough for one train. Bonus if we get the length for two trains. So theoretically we could make that go a little bit further down, maybe to the bridge. Sometimes the game treats this as an intersection when you switch from ground to bridge, so just be cautious about this kind of stuff. That might even be better going to there, but I think we're okay like this. Yeah, visually this was so much fun. And so we're bypassing this little crossing here by going that way. So we're alleviating a little bit of the traffic. It's like having an intersection with a slip lane. Cool. And then I'm just going to do a little visual check here for the hill. Hopefully this is not too bad. Oh, not bad at all. But it's definitely better to do this kind of stuff on a flat surface. You can see with that little lip, that little bubble, we can probably push that out a bit better. So we'll put flat surface just for um, uh, this part here. And with the rails, like, just take your time. Just like the highways, right? And there's such a major infrastructure project. They'll be in so many screenshots, so many backgrounds, you know, images of whatever you're working on that I think it's important to spend the extra time. You can definitely justify it. And it makes you happy, too, to see the nice clean lines and 100% go for it. Okay, so let's get the tight, tight turn in here. Now, I might seem like I'm being a little bit contradictory by adding this in here, but I'm just making sure that this part is gonna be long enough for a train, which I know it is. This is kind of rolling the dice a little bit here. We could indeed have those connect to the same spot, but it might look a little busy. So we'll try it out. Like a lot of stuff, it's a bit of a trial and error in a very fun way. And we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll link up right there. That, it looks so much better. Like night and day, the difference. And it better suits the uh, larger infrastructure. You know, for the highways, that kind of stuff. It just seems like this belongs a lot more um, within the city grounds. All right, well, let's link up just this last little bit here. Same principle idea. Oh, what a difference. That's great. Okay, 
And again, we can just do the old eyeball check, make sure nothing's too offensive. This is not so bad. We can probably fix it, but I'm not going to uh, bore you guys with 10 more minutes of terraforming. But yeah, now we can handle much greater volumes with absolute ease. And, uh, you know, why don't we have the way kind of going through here? Well, we're not doing a loop, so that's no problem. We're going to connect back up over um, behind here. You can also cut off certain directions if you're trying to reduce the number of trains coming in from the region. Very, very, very um, time-tested and true method. All right, so let's um, go out a little bit. Look at that head on here. Cool. And let's come down the hill in some just like grandiose, uh, over-exaggerated, um, very long, uh, what am I looking for, slope, approach, tunnel? No, bridge. Just for fun, no real reason other than just because. That's not too sharp. We could get that going a little bit tighter if we wanted to. And in general, if you do want the tighter ones, make sure you've got your guidelines on. Just get as close as you can. And then just follow your nodes going over. Nice and gentle. And these ones here, if you don't like that slope, just do them again. And as long as you keep cutting, um, you know, like one off, maybe even two or three, just keep redoing it. You'll eventually get the slope. Oh yeah, you'll eventually get what you're after. So that's what I was saying kind of before. Like go nice and slow at it. Take your time. Pay attention to the uh, the terrain. Terraform if you got to. And those little bumps. You know, if you can handle this kind of stuff, don't fret. This kind of stuff bugs you. That's what you terraform initially for, right? And depending on how many um, uh, regional train stations you're thinking of adding, you might maybe want to consider doubling or tripling up some of the uh, rail corridors throughout parts of the uh, city. Not everywhere, so that might look a little bit preposterous, but I wonder if we can just kind of do a nice little gentle with that. No, I somehow made this so much worse. I don't know how that came to be, but I seem to be doing that a lot these days where I've got like... What's the opposite of Midas Touch, where I don't turn things to gold, but I turn things to um, uh, coal? Crap. <laughs> okay, let's just get that mixed in. So these kind of things, again, we can kind of fix later, but I think you get the general idea. Now let's uh, complete the loop. I'm going to turn the speed back on, because all this terraforming is going to get very expensive over time. We do want to change a lot throughout the city, so let's just start banking up our money. And some of these unique buildings and stadiums are like two or three hundred thousand credits each, so good golly. Oh, here's a customer. A couple customers going through our rail interchange now. So even though we have the level crossing, it's so much more functional. I think this looks cool, right? And imagine we get cargo and the people going through here, plus our internal train lines. Ooh, very exciting. Okay. So this is going to be kind of like a middle of the nowhere, unfortunately connecting to nothing for the moment kind of road. And when we start pushing through here, I'm going to be changing a little bit the road style. This is very grid-like, which served us very well for the moment, but not a lot of the streets in real life are like this straight for this long. So I do want to start putting in some gentle banks and curves through here. So we're going to be just like ever so slightly going into like intermediate road design, I want to say. Okay, so we want to keep in mind our uh, rail interchange, how we're going to be building that. So why don't we push this a little bit further in. Let's get a couple roads in symmetry with this. And this is one of those things like if you build it, they will come. So we'll put the infrastructure in first and then we'll try to get people living over here after. And I actually just want that to be on a different angle just for fun. Oh, cool. A bonus. That actually ended up being the right size for that. So I'm just doing, like, literally completely run of the mill. No trying to copy any angle here. And I've exaggerated a little bit the curve. So it looks like we're not trying to be perpendicular or, or like, adjacent to any of this kind of stuff. So, completely random. And we're going to connect this on up. The reason why I do need this train station here is I was testing some stuff out earlier. And when I was drawing the lines, I needed an um, anchor point over here. Just doing some uh, some silly stuff. 
Okay, that's uh, kind of boring, isn't it? Kind of works, but it's kind of boring. So what I was saying before, right? We're not going to be doing a um, inner city train connection with this. If I was and looking to maybe reduce traffic as an option, don't connect that side. Don't complete the Y. So it's less inner, ooh, hello, less regional trains will be coming in. So the inner city ones, right? Just kind of a fun little tidbit. I'm still not going to connect it because this is going to be for an internal train line. And this little connection point here, I think is fine. We could have definitely jazzed it up a little bit, but it's, it's okay. So we'll gently come through here, curve through, maybe end up coming like that as a tunnel. I might get a little bit close to the old folks home here, but luckily they probably don't hear too well anyway, right? Probably someone adjusting their hearing aid as the train goes by, right? But yeah, let's um, get a small little side road in here, put a station in. You know, we're kind of close enough to the highway. All this noise really shouldn't matter. I don't think these guys will get bothered by, um, uh, by the noise either, all jokes aside. I'm just debating whether we actually want to get a express little um, uh, bypass through here. I think we should. So basically means if you're going like further into the uh, the city, more downtown, um, we'll have the option to scoot by this uh, state station. So if someone's waiting, they won't be blocking too many people. And then just like before, this has got to be the length of one um, train. So I'm going to push our seniors home a little bit over. And we'll try and connect up where the tunnel gets out. And just like before, we can probably get a little bit closer if we start following... There we go. Just following the same uh, node points. So that right there is enough length for a train. So that makes me happy uh, and confident. Now, the only thing we're effectively doing over here is we're kind of saying it's going to be very hard to get a, um, a collector express system going. So we might need to possibly redo one of the rails or maybe think about making that a little bit skinny. So we've got the collector express on this side. We may not even need it, but um, we're just kind of like be aware. And in the grand scheme, too, this is why we kind of leave space open in and around some of these corridors. So it's easier to plan this stuff. And so arguably I could probably move this whole operation back a little bit, but let's gamble. I think we'll be okay. And it doesn't mean we can't get a partial system through here. Just it's gonna be a little bit more challenging, that's all. But sometimes it's kind of fun to build yourself into these corners to see like how you'll come up with a solution. I had kind of a breakthrough the other day uh, while streaming. I think one of the things I really like the most about this game is the problem solving and being able to almost see in like real time your, your like cause and effect. And it's kind of cool having those like eureka moments, especially when you get, like, get there together. And then one of my favorite things about City Skylines, just personally, is like how different we all play it. And so something that might seem so foreign to me is just so natural and normal to you. And then you share that information and I'm just like blown away sometimes, right? Kind of cool. Okay, so we're a little bit crooked, but that's okay. That is a okay with me. I wonder if we can maybe exaggerate that a little bit. I don't really want to go there, but no, that just looks silly. What are you doing here? Okay, same kind of thought process. I feel like when we zone that in, we might not notice, but the fact that that road, this is what I was kind of saying earlier, right? When I was throwing that train station down, it's sometimes a little bit hard on the, oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Boy. Sometimes it's a little bit hard in the eyes when you see a road that is just ever so slightly, ever so slightly off center here. So theoretically, really quickly, I think I'm gonna do it. You might think I'm crazy here, but I really think it's worth it. We'll redo this so quickly you won't even notice.
And again, like the heavier major infrastructure projects, if they're going to be in all your screenshots, if they're going to be like the constant thing you're looking at when you're building, if one of those little angles is absolutely driving you nuts, just change it. You got the power. I was a little bit hesitant, but what did this really take? You know? A minute, not even. Done and done. Okay, so we'll visually check that. Fix that just ever so slightly. And then that bus line should uh, sort itself out, so I'm not too stressed. Boom, super worth it. All right, so train station over here. Let's put down one more train station and let's complete the loop. Now this area here is pretty darn close to um, our, our transit, but I might maybe add a little pathway, some bridges and stuff and a possible little circular bus loop through here. And just kind of what I was saying before about like building the infrastructure for that possible island downtown six train station setup. What I'm going to do is leave that track going this way. Then we're going to come in over here and we're hopefully going to connect like right there so we can kind of take advantage of the, uh, the switching. But oh, this is the doozy right here. What are we doing? All right, it's a challenge to get this kind of stuff in over pre existing infrastructure. But nothing is impossible if you are patient. Yes, yeah, so we'll start lowering the terrain and hoping for the best here. Okay, let's look at it, uh, side on. Oh, not bad at all, actually. Not bad. And we are getting a little bit of that cross-junction, uh, double slip lane kind of vibe thing happening through here. So the trains are able to go straight. They're able to turn right. And same idea here. They're able to go to the outside track and to the inside track here. So it's going to be possibly a busy one. But it's a functional junction that we're going to keep that looks pretty cool. So that's not bad as well. Going up and over. Uh huh. And then let's add... Possibly, no, I don't think we need it. I was gonna add one more train station, but I think we're okay. So instead of a train station, let's do maybe a um, an elevated uh, train corridor through here. And this possibly could be doubled up for a um, for some cargo later on. And so we just want to cross. I'm gonna pause now because we're just about to lose the power, which will cause a whole bunch of uh, terrible consequences to the city. And let's see if we can just link this up. Eyeball and lower it slightly. Great. Very lucky with that one. No additional requirements or uh, adjustments required. And then we'll just raise this on up. Connect that back, complete the loop, and then talk a little bit about the lines. Oh, nothing's ever easy, is it, right now? I feel like I'm making stuff overly complicated for no reason. All right, there we go. And so just like the um, uh, the buses, we can actually draw our own lines with the trains. We don't have to. They'll uh, receive the um, uh, vehicles from the region if we have that selected. How are we going to get in here? Oh, does that fit? Oh, no way. Oh, yes. No way. Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> it doesn't even get rid of the fence, too? No way. Match made in heaven. Okay, that pillar needs to be a little bit taller. So that was us starting at ground level. And then I'm going out and just getting the pillar just to the right height. Perfect. And then I think... I think what's actually going to have to happen is I'm going to delete this and then we're going to have to maybe try coming in like that. Oh boy. Okay, easier said than done. I might end up with that weird blue hole in the world there. No, actually not, strangely. This is the equivalent of like winning the lottery in City Skylines when you have your terrain uh, conform like that. I probably will play this game for another 4,000 hours and will never be able to recreate this in a vanilla setting. 
I'm actually pleasantly surprised this happened, and you guys are here as witnesses. Wow, that's insane. I'll never be able to do this again. That is so cool. Okay, then these two just have to, um, to link up. I feel like I should just come back and screenshot that later. Oh, no, way! did I just do that perfectly? Oh, not quite, not quite. Can't, uh, can't win them all. That is A-OK, -okay, though. That's just a gentle rise. Okay, so let's change the height profile, and given that these are both elevated, it should give us the smoothest slope between them. And it did. Without any need for extra adjustments. Alright, well that is a handsome rail corridor, if I do say so myself. A lot of fun options for the future. My good god, that fire really spread. We can still make our way down. We can double up part of this, which is really cool for uh, the cargo aspect. We do know that the game plan is to move this industrial area over, so we probably need one more um, passenger station here, and maybe we can um, sneak on over and follow the waterfront. Train station down there, perhaps. But let's put in the lines for this. Let's talk a little bit about that. Let's not get too carried away. I feel like I could do just like forever non-stop series about um, uh, trains. So, uh, you know, we haven't really connected this up. Let's not worry about that. I'm going to get so many comments being like, oh, I think you forgot. Don't worry. I know. I know. We're not there yet in terms of, like, city building, but I do need that train station there, otherwise the loop is going to be very weird. It's going to want to try to, like, go the opposite direction. Alright, so we've put in one uh, train line, and it covers one direction. So if you are taking the train from here and want to go here, just like our buses before, you have to take the entire length, which is very inefficient. So we're going to double up, we're going to create another line, and we're going to go the other direction. Now, trains will still stop at the station. There's just going to be no pickup and drop-off because there's going to be no demand for it. We will very shortly connect this up, build this out to try and get our next milestone in terms of population. So it is on the docket to do stuff, so don't, don't worry. And we'll complete that. And then just like the buses, we can change the color. Catch that before the radio host starts talking. And then what are we doing for our trains? Maybe a nice royal blue. Easy color to kind of um, uh, get right between the two lines as well. Just eyeball that. Not bad. Not bad. And then we can also adjust the budget. And then we did say at the beginning of the episode that we only wanted this train station here to be the one that connects to the inner city train. So let's go through the others and turn those off. And my goodness. So no inner city trains. That one we haven't done anything yet, so we're not going to stress. All we're making sure is that the line is able to go in the direction that we want, which was up and through that interchange. And look at how cool this is, we're using the slip part, they're not going through the main. So we did build this um, correctly, which is good. Sometimes you go through the effort of doing this, but the AI still thinks this is the faster way, so you're just like, oh my god. Because the trains can make this turn, but they'll have to slow down dramatically to do it. So by giving them this option, they're taking the outside corridor, which is great. Alright, well I mean, where else do we go with this? I think we kind of covered everything. So the principal idea as to why we're doing this again as the um, regional one is we're on the outskirts of the city, so we don't necessarily want to j uh, jam up the um, the rail lines going deep into the city with uh, trains from the region. We've created a really great little transit turnaround point here, so if you want to access essentially any part of the city now, you've got the option. We built that stuff ahead of time, so the infrastructure was ready for the big influx of both people, tourists, you know, passengers, Moms, dads, students, all of that, and for goodness sakes, I cannot stop looking at this. How did this just happen? How? How? Do, I know there's a little bit of blue right there. Don't worry about that. This is just insanely gorgeous. I'm telling you guys, the more hours you play in the game, the more you'll realize this is impossible to recreate. Anyway, yeah, we got some good buses, good walking, we got the taxis. And there you go, gateway to the city. And we'll recreate something like this downtown on the island, and we'll allow uh, inner city trains to make their way down there too. That's kind of it. So your trains, as my kind of like TLDR, they're a great way to get people from one end of the city to the other. You don't want the stations too close together because trains, you know, they're very heavy. They take a while to get up to speed. So if your stations are too close together, they're never really going to benefit from that like high speed um, movement. And then when you do get to a station, you want to maybe have some transit available so that you can help kind of extend the range of it. So over here, you can see a bus line pretty close. Maybe not close enough though. 
So we do want to revisit transit continually through the, um, the series here. So we'll probably go um, in a few episodes from now and maybe just kind of rethink some of the routes. But I do want to mix stuff up. So the next episode is actually going to be a half episode with some um, just simple detailing. And it's going to be detailing some of the train stations we just put in. And then the episode after that, number 20, is going to be just a smidgen more. We're probably going to connect this up so the city looks a lot more just like functional. Um, probably get that roundabout finally uh, expanded. And then I want to move into finally naming some stuff and then do some silly, uh, fun, awesome cinematics. So that's kind of the short run for the city, guys. I really hope this helps. And if you have any questions, definitely drop them. City is coming together in like what I think to be one of the best ways possible. Love when we see the public transit go through. It just feels really great. I love seeing it. All of this is just kind of fun, too. So if the detailing interests you, you know, like how we can kind of clean these areas up, moving some of the pedestrians around, come on back. We'll see you guys in a half episode. And um, if not, no worries. You're not going to miss too much. And uh, definitely we'll see you guys for the cinematics and, um, oh, of course, expansion between. All right, well, that's it. I'm Imperial Jedi. Thank you very much again for being here. I think this is absolutely fantastic. One last time, i got to look at this. Holy smokes. Anyway, drop me your comments. Share your pictures, too, guys. Love seeing stuff on um, our Discord and on Twitter. All right, that's it. Happy building. All the best. Take care of yourselves. Mm -hmm.